Do not let the storm water down the word that God has given you. God created us to live by faith. I want to encourage you that your faith, even when tested, must prevail in that situation. If your faith is based on the living word of God, the powerful word of God, the unfailing word of God, child of God, you will overcome no matter how great the storm is. A great windstorm arose and waves beat into a boat in which Jesus Christ and his disciples were in. The Bible says the boat was already filling, but he, Jesus Christ, was in the stern asleep on a pillow and they awoke him and said to him teacher do you not care that we are perishing that's in mark chapter 4 and i read from verse 37 to 38 the new king james version you are living your life child of god this very moment and as a child of god you have a guarantee of the presence of god in you through his holy spirit just like the disciples you too have the presence of divinity in your midst he lives in you paul calls him the spirit of christ glory to god and he glorifies jesus christ you need to be assured that jesus christ really cares for you that he really loves you you should never question that sometimes storms make us do just that just like we see in this case the disciples are saying teacher don't you care that we are perishing he absolutely cares for you he absolutely is there for you and we see it as they rise up and call on him he answers hallelujah the storms in our lives will test our faith in the presence of god in our lives it will test our faith in his ability to perform his word teacher don't you care that we are perishing? Yes, he cares. He cares a lot. You better believe him. You are certainly going to see his word fulfilled in your life. Just as the disciples saw the word that Jesus spoke fulfilled in his life, they saw Jesus arise and fulfill his promise. He stilled the storm. God's word will never fail. If your hope and your inspiration is inspired by the word of god trust me child of god you will not be ashamed if your hope and your expectation is inspired by the word of god i repeat you will not be ashamed i read on on the same day when evening had come he had said to them and let's cross over to the other side. That's in Mark chapter 4, verse 35. That's the word he had given them in that specific time. What word did God give you? Way before the current storm you are facing. What word did God give you before COVID-19 pandemic? What word did God give you that inspired what you are doing right now? What is happening in your circumstances right now? How are you responding to your circumstances? Are you like the disciples, panicking, worried, stressed, full of anxiety? I want to encourage you to pray about it right now. Acknowledge your worry, acknowledge your stress, acknowledge your fears and trust God. Remind yourself what God said to you. Remind yourself what the word of God says. Remind yourself that God is present in your situation. Remind yourself that God loves you. Remind yourself that God cares. In this particular case, the Bible says he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so afraid? Some translations say, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they were exceedingly fearful and said to one another, how can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? That's Mark chapter 4, verse 39 to 41. I want to ask the same question. Why are you afraid in this situation? Why are you afraid in your current circumstances? Why do you have such little faith? Can't you just believe God 
Can't you take God at his word? Can't you meditate on God's word as often as you need to so that you'll be bold, strong, and courageous in the midst of that storm? Allow me to imagine how my faith filled the response would have been if I was in the disciples' situation. It's easy to imagine it, but when you're going through it, it's harder. But you know what you can do? You and I can meditate on the word of God so much so that we have a conviction of what we believe in, that we are sure of what we believe in, so that when we are in the storm, we can apply it. Listen to my declaration. Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. You are a very present help in my time of trouble. You are the Lord of hosts and you are with me in my situation. I will not doubt, I will never, never doubt your love and the fact that you care for me. Therefore, I am still right now in the midst of the storm. My eyes are fixed on you. My eyes are fixed on your word. My eyes are fixed on your powerful and failing word. This storm, including COVID-19, pandemic, and any other thing that will come as I fulfill your will for my life. You will be exalted in my situation. You'll be exalted amongst the nation. You'll be exalted on this earth. You'll be exalted in this particular case in Jesus' name. I stand on your word.